Okay, here's seventh grade math group day three. So this is for today. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little late. So I apologize, but I do notice this might not, this isn't one of the ones that I see you guys using much. So I'm still gonna do it. But if you need any help, always give me a call. If it is 1046 in the morning, and how many minutes until noon? So you need 14 more minutes till 11, plus the 60 minutes for an hour. So 60 plus 14 is 74 minutes. If Mark has a string that is six feet long, if he cuts it in half and then cuts each half in half, how long will each be? Why does he have just string that's six feet long? That seems like there would be a purpose for that. I don't know, maybe he should talk to his parents. Okay, so half, he gets it in half, so that's three feet. Then he cuts each half in half, so half of three is one and a half. How long will each piece be? 1.5 feet. For problems three through six, circle three items that are of equal value. So this is the same as three times three times three. Three times three is nine. Nine times three is 27. So that is not 27, that's 27, that's 9, this is 20, that's the same. So 3, that one's the same, this one's the same, and that one's the same. A hundred dollars, okay, if you think about it, we're looking for hundreds. So this one, if I have 10, how many groups of 10 can go into a thousand? A hundred. So that's two groups, then there's 10, no. 10 to the second power, which is 10 times 10, which gets us to 100. So there's our group of three. Then 10 times 10 times 10. Well, 10 times 10 is 100, so we know that's just over. So it's not this one, not that one. So we're circling. Ah. Okay, hexagon, hexagon, pentagon. Oh, I see, I was like, what am I doing here? Circle the things that are of equal value. Okay, so we are looking for things that have six sides, I think. Well, I don't know. This one has, this one's six. That's only two, though. One, two, three, four, five. So, okay, five. Pentagon, Pentagon, Pentagon. Da do, da do, da do. Holy my smokes. Okay, actually, I'm glad that we got here because this part I want you to stop and think about for just a second. So, these are numbers to a certain power. And so, when you're looking at these, you're looking to find, like, okay, so if this is times 10 to the second power, just like when we showed you in that exponent one, they're gonna move this decimal twice, twice. One, two. Because that 10 times 10 is 100, there's two zeros. So this is gonna move three. One, two, three. Move it one. Move it three. One, two, three. Move it four. One, two, three, four. So this number should actually be 12, 165. This number is also 1265. This number is 126 and 5 tenths. This one is 126 and 5 tenths. And this one is 126 and 5 tenths. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Going from the other direction, I thought it was gonna be this one, but I am super glad that we went all the way through because I can tell you that right now, It's a circle the what? Circle three items that oh three. Okay, I just want to double check because I was confused there for a second. Okay, so this one, this one, and that one. If Jerome walks 1.6 miles to school every day, to school? Oh mother! Hopefully he lives in California where it's nice and sunny. That's ridiculous. Well, I shouldn't say ridiculous. It's not horrible, but if he's walking, assuming that he goes at a decent pace. He's probably going to take 20 to 30 minutes to get to school. Assuming he doesn't have to wait for lights or cross streets or anything. Who knows? Okay. 
So it's just times two because it's got to go round trip. So you can either do multiply by two or you can do one and six tenths plus one and six tenths, which gets you to three. He does 3.2 miles a day. Hmm. Way to go, rock star. Maybe you'll be a track god. How many legs do six chickens and four cows have in total? Are they assuming that all chickens and all cows have no deformities and chickens naturally have two legs? So this is six to the six times two and four cows with four legs. And we are going to add them. Do, do, do. So six times two is 12 plus four times four is 16. I don't know why I didn't use the space below. 12 and 16 makes 28. I watched a show the other day and watched somebody make chicken feet. And they were talking about how amazing they were and I wanted to throw up. Because they were eating them like chips. And the only thing that makes me gross about it is because I thought there was bones in chicken feet. Like, you know, if you go to like chomp on my feet, I got bones in my toes. So I don't know. It's pretty weird. Fill in the missing squared number. Okay, so what? What? Squared number. Oh, four is four, nine. Okay, so four is two times two. Perfect. Nine is three and three. Sixteen is four and four. Five and five would be twenty-five. Six and six would be thirty-six. I don't really understand why they didn't do just that. But whatever. Net is to 10. Oh, it's the flipped around version. As 304 is to 403. So, se. Che. All right. Got it. We'll do the next one in a minute. Ha ha ha. Because they're a minute. 